Hey, welcome aboard. I'm going to show you a short video uh, of using the Python console in a web page. And this is a website called runpython.org. Um, I'm going to show you not this page, but uh, a console, which is sort of a good place to get started with the very, very basics of Python programming. And you can see in the lower right hand corner of this page, there's a link to the runpython.org console. So Run Python uses something called the Python programming language. It's based on Python 3, and it's designed to run in a web browser. Python stands for browser Python. So when you bring up the console, you'll see these uh, prompt with three little angles. And you can type something like something. And right away, you'll find out that not everything you type is very useful. So this gives you your first error that name something is not defined. So let's try typing something else. Uh, I could try typing a number. Oh, that worked OK. So if you type a number in Python's console, it gives you the number back to you. Cool. I can type uh, decimal numbers as well. Now, that name that I tried, something, which produced an error, um, I can assign that name to an object in Python. The objects in Python, the very simple objects in Python are numbers and strings. So I typed a few numbers into the console. And when I do that, Python creates an object that represents that number and spits it back to me. Now what I can do to assign um, a name to an object is exactly this. Type the name, something, and an equal sign. And then I can type a literal number like 5. So something equals 5. Hey, didn't get an error. So let me try typing something now. Now this used to produce an error. Now something has been assigned to the number 5. Pretty neat. I type my name. Eric is not defined. But I can assign Eric to a number like 55. Now Eric represents the number object 55. Python also lets you do some simple math. Uh, for example, I can type 1 plus 2 equals 3. And um, I can also assign, uh, do that operation while assigning to a variable. So like green equals 34 times 67. And if I type green, I see that green now has the value of 2,278. I can also use the symbols that I've created, or the names that I've created, green times Eric. And I've got 125,290. So it took the value associated with the, uh, the name green, and it took the value associated with the name Eric, and multiplied them together. So you also notice that the asterisk symbol is the symbol representing the multiplication. Um, the other symbols for basic math operations are the plus sign for addition, so green plus Eric. We can also use the slash for division. So dividing green by Eric, I get 41.41 .41 and change. And let's see, what am I missing? Oh, subtraction. Green minus, just use the minus sign on your keyboard, and I can do subtraction. You can also write mathematical expressions that use things like parentheses. That doesn't make much sense. Let's try green, green plus Eric times 53. So just like you probably learned in algebra, if you enclose an operation in parentheses, that is going to get evaluated first, and then the rest of the stuff. Cool. Um, other objects that you can define in Python are strings. So we already know if we just type in random text, we'll get an error. If we enclose the random text inside quotation marks, we don't. It spits that back. So what Python has done when I enclose that in quotation marks, it's created an object in memory that represents that string of text. And I can assign that to a variable just like the numbers. So my name equals Eric. So now my name represents Eric. And I can do a limited amount of math with that. For example, if I type my name times 10, 
I get 10 errors. If you try any other operation with that string, like my name plus 10, you get an error. The only thing you can do with strings is multiply them by numbers. So that's the basics of um, Python objects, the numeric objects and the string objects. There is a tremendous amount more than this, but this is a good example of the very, very simple things you can do with Python. If, when you're programming in Python, you want to do a little experimentation, um, try out a mathematical operation or maybe a, a Python statement without using it in your program, you can go to the console, type it in, and see what happens. So it's a great way to learn a little bit about Python. My next video will introduce actually writing programs and saving them using GitHub.